Greetings Spartan and welcome back to the UNSC Infinity War Game Simulation Training Program. Today we are going to begin our coverage of Covenant weaponry with the one that most resembles our own technology, the Covenant Carbine. The Type 51 Carbine is a charger-fed marksman rifle developed by Iruru Armory. It is employed by the Covenant Empire, as well as the Storm Covenant, and it becomes available within the simulation at Spartan Rank 5. Widely encountered during the Human Covenant War, the Carbine is unique among Covenant weapons because it utilizes more conventional ballistics as opposed to superheated plasma or other energy-based materials. The rounds it fires are radioactive fuel rods that are encased in a magnetic field. This is the same type of ammunition fired by the T-33 fuel rod gun, anti-air wraiths, and banshees, but obviously the rounds fired from the carbine are much smaller. Now while they are typically employed in an anti-armor role, fuel rods make for very effective anti-personnel projectiles, and when they're fired from the carbine, they are more than capable of penetrating light armor. If a fuel rod becomes lodged in a target's body, it will continue to burn them internally until it cools off. But because the rounds are radioactive, surviving victims almost always require radiation treatments in order to survive. The carbine fires 8.7 by 60 millimeter caseless radioactive rounds from an 18 round charger at a rate of 268 rounds per minute. These rounds can be reloaded by trained personnel in 2.5 seconds. The carbine also has a default red reticle range of 27.46 meters, but it does come equipped with a 2 times magnification scope that increases this range to 54.85 meters. The carbine can remove the shields of a Spartan 4 with only 6 rounds, and can kill an unshielded Spartan in 4 rounds. But this weapon is headshot capable, so once the shields are gone, a single shot to the head will neutralize your target. And if you're caught in close quarters, only four rounds combined with a melee attack will kill most opponents. And the carbine may require up to 16 rounds to remove an overshield. When powered by a damage boost, these numbers are cut in half. Only three rounds are needed to remove shielding, two rounds will kill an unshielded Spartan, and you will need eight rounds at the most to deplete an overshield. Now there's a lot of debate about which weapon is better, the carbine or the battle rifle. And while it is true that the battle rifle will kill slightly faster than the carbine, the carbine does have one main advantage, a high rate of fire. If you miss a shot with the battle rifle, you'll have to wait a lot longer to fire your next shot than if you miss a shot with the carbine. So while your opponent's weapon may be deadlier, if you can strafe well enough to avoid even a single shot, you will probably win the fight, assuming you maintain decent accuracy. Now, a great way to make sure you can keep on target is to not always aim for the head. Instead, aim for the upper torso until you see their shields break, and then simply put one more round in their head to finish them off. Doing this will greatly increase your chances of winning a fight. Another important factor for the carbine is getting the first shot. And while this is generally applied to all weapons, with the carbine it is important because even with perfect accuracy, it still kills slower than most primary loadout weapons. Only the DMR and an unscoped light rifle have slower kill times. So this means that when your opponent gets the first shot on you, they have a very high advantage since they also kill faster. So you need to take precautions to ensure that you hit first and kill fast. So, we are going to build a kit that is designed to help us get the first shot, then stay on target in close to mid-range combat. However, the first thing we need is a good backup weapon, and the bolt shot is a great pairing for any ranged weapon. When you get trapped in close quarters against automatic weapons or while you're at low health, a well-placed charge shot can quickly turn the tides in your favor. Just duck behind cover and watch your motion sensor. When your aggressor prepares to round the corner, charge your shot and take him out. Next, we will be electing fragmentation grenades. These grenades are a perfect complement to any headshot capable weapon. You can bounce them off of walls and around corners to drop an opponent's shielding and then finish them with a headshot. And since a wide majority of the weapons, especially automatics, can kill faster than the carbine, 
Having reliable grenades is important, especially in close quarters. Now, as I stated previously, landing the first shot is very important, and to help us get it, we will be using Promethean Vision. This controversial ability will allow you to spot enemy players through any surface, providing that they don't have stealth or active camouflage. This is obviously very useful for helping you to land the first shot in a fight, but it will also help you throw the perfect grenade, and it will remove the guesswork from using the bolt shot. Just don't become too reliant on this ability. Use it to enhance your awareness, not replace it. Too many Spartans become overly dependent on Promethean Vision to the point where they can't seem to function without it. Don't make this mistake. Now, since grenades are made even more effective with Promethean Vision, we will be using the Resupply Tactical Package. This will allow you to scavenge unused grenades from your slain opponents, ensuring that you have a constant supply of explosive power. The only drawback is that you have to first kill an opponent before you can collect their grenades, so you could instead use the Grenadier Package if you desire. That way you always spawn with an extra grenade. And finally, our support upgrade will be Stability. Since the Carbine requires so many shots to kill, staying on target is a primary concern, and Stability will aid us in mid to long range fights by greatly reducing the amount of flinch we take when shot. Ideally, your opponent will not have Stability, meaning that the overwhelming fire that you put on them should completely disrupt their aim. Just remember that Stability will not protect you from flinching if you get shot by a Sniper Rifle or a Beam Rifle. In the end, the Carbine is a fast and accurate weapon. It will maintain a high degree of accuracy regardless of how fast you pull the trigger. But it does kill slower than most of its competition, and having to land so many consecutive shots can be difficult. But if you're up to the challenge, pick up this radioactive rifle and overwhelm the competition. Thank you for watching this episode of my Halo 4 Weapon Guides. If you enjoyed it, please check out my other videos and be sure to stay tuned for more to come. As always, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. My name is Matt and I'll see you next time.